Greetings! Welcome to this uh, special video uh, in which I would like to show you uh, this new printer, uh, at least new for me, which is uh, LK5 Pro uh, from the company Longer. And uh, in this video I would like to make, a, well, basically a review uh, to show uh, what this print, uh, printer can do and uh, uh, all its pros and cons. Uh, I didn't buy it, uh, this printer uh, was uh, given to me by the company Z-Banks uh, for the review purposes, so I am uh, really uh, thanking them. And uh, well, basically we will uh, take a look uh, at uh, the unpa uh, unpackaging process, uh, we will uh, look at uh, the printer itself, uh, some uh, of its features and then of course we will take a look at uh, some of the printed parts and uh, in the end I will give you uh, my thoughts on uh, how the printer is and stuff like that. As you can see the package is very nicely packed and quite secured. Uh, I really don't think that there could be any damage during the transit because it's really uh, safe. Uh, at least it looks like. Uh, it's also packed quite neatly. So uh, the package is really not that big. Uh, certainly it doesn't look like uh, there is uh, this very big 3D printer. As you can see there are some accessories uh, such as the scraper and uh, all the parts uh, needed for the construction. Yeah, everything is very uh, easily accessible and uh, it's really nice. I have to say that uh, the package is really great uh, and uh, certainly a uh, plus for me. Now um, we have to uh, remove this uh, entire upper piece uh, in order to get to the main body. The printer itself is some 13.5 kilos, um, so it's kind of heavy, uh, but as you can see uh, it's not a big issue to get it out and uh, I did it myself even though uh, my arms were, well, I had problems. Yeah, uh, you can see all the parts uh, there are there is everything that you need in order to actually uh, assemble it you don't have uh, you don't need to use any uh, additional tools or uh, whatever everything is there and now uh, we will take out the uh, LCD and that's it and uh, here is the printer in all its glory as you can see it's quite big, so I have a problem to actually fit it uh, into the frame. Now uh, one of the reasons uh, it is so big is because it has a printing volume of 30 by 30 by 40 centimeters, which is quite nice and you can print quite big stuff with it. Uh, you can see that it has those two supports. Uh, those are really nice addition because uh, they make uh, the whole uh, design very sturdy so that is always a good thing mainly if you really print something which is high or tall uh, another thing uh, this printer comes up with is uh, this nice uh, LCD touch screen um, uh, it's colored and uh, yeah, it's easily operable, so yeah, I'm kind of uh, okay with it, uh, it's easy to use. Uh, I will also mention a part about the assembly, because as you've seen uh, in the unpacking uh, portion, the printer uh, comes to you partially assembled and you have to finish it yourself. The uh, assembly process is uh, really easy. I managed to do it in one hour with my hands 
kind of, well, damaged, I guess. And uh, it was really easy. One uh, of the reasons it was uh, very easy is that uh, uh, there is a very nice assembly video guide and it's very, very good and easy to replicate, which is why I didn't even bother to actually uh, record the assembly process because uh, why would I do something which was already done um, and uh, better than I would ever do? One of the, well, uh, cons of this uh, printer, uh, at least uh, to me, is that it comes with micro SD card. Uh, this printer takes uh, only micro SD cards and they take them here to the back of the slot, which is inconvenient. However, uh, I uh, managed a way around that. Well, first, I don't really have anything to, uh, well, uh, work uh, with, with the micro SD cards. So I bought a reduction from uh, micro to standard SD card, but uh, it turns out that wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary because you will get received this card reader for USB port. And this is the micro SD card. So you don't have to, uh, to buy any reduction at all. This is something I didn't know. And uh, this is really a nice idea and a nice surprise. But still, I personally uh, don't like to have a micro SD card because all my other printers use standard SD card and I want uh, the cards to be interchangeable. That is why I made my first uh, upgrade. Okay, and this is my upgrade. I designed and printed this card holder and inside I put a uh, well, reduction from the uh, standard uh, for, from the micro to standard SD card. So now I can use normal SD card. And this is something I really uh, need to use. Other upgrades that I did is uh, are those two uh, bins. Uh, they are accessible on Thingiverse and they are a nice uh, placement to actually put the stuff that you uh, receive with the printer. Uh, which, as you can see, is the scraper, which is very good. And then uh, various Allen keys and stuff like that. Uh, in the second one, I uh, have uh, my glue stick and my paper towel uh, that I have because after uh, some two weeks of printing um, I had a problem with the uh, proper adhesion of the first layer uh, so I basically used the glue with uh, the EPA and it solved the issue quite well okay uh, another uh, small con uh, that uh, I can think of is that the printing bed, when assembled, uh, is not uh, properly tightened and it is uh, wobbly. Um, that's really not a problem, it's just a matter of simply tightening uh, the screws for the, for the wheels and that's, that's, that's it. So very easy process indeed. And uh, now I will mention one thing uh, which will probably be uh, self-evident in the video portion uh, of the printing itself and that's the noise. Uh, the motors of the individual axes are actually really really uh, quiet. Uh, I would say that they are way quiet. Most of the time you won't even hear them. But uh, that is kind of negated by the fact that the cooling fan is uh, quite loud. Uh, it is uh, at first, uh, I would say, uh, very loud, but uh, I don't know, maybe I just got used to it or it got uh, quieter, I don't know, but uh, I don't think it's as loud now. But in any case, I mm, still don't think that's a problem. Why? Because that's a continuous sound, which uh, you will very quickly get used to it and start to ignore. It's not like uh, 
something like a movement of the motors which uh, appears uh, from time to time. Uh, this is a continuous sound and very easily, well, ignorable, I would say. So uh, that really doesn't bother me at all. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, I really appreciate is that they actually learned uh, the longer uh, the company. Because I uh, took the liberty and took few of the reviews uh, from the uh, past. And uh, this basically is a kind of upgraded version. Because uh, this uh, fan, uh, th this is completely new assembly than it was before. And also, and also this whole area is also have, uh, uh, is having this uh, support for the cables which uh, wasn't there in the previous versions and was uh, an upgrade and but now it's uh, already part of the basic kit so that's very good uh, here uh, we have uh, basically the cable uh, pusher i would say um, yeah uh, as you can see in this blue hose that's where the the filament is uh, that's unfortunately not that great when you want to print uh, TPU or other flexible materials, but uh, for that I will use my Prusa. So, yeah, uh, I think that uh, that's all for the description. And now we will take a look at uh, the printing itself and some uh, actual prints. Okay, so here we have uh, some uh, printed parts, which were printed on the LK5. Um, when it comes to the train, uh, only the black parts, uh, everything which is black was printed on the LK5 and whatever is red was on my Prusa, uh, simple time management. And yeah, I don't think it's a problem, yeah, here. Uh, on this piece, as you can see here, I had a problem, this corner uh, kind of unstuck from the printing bed and it's a little bit deformed, but it has no, uh, uh, it is not a problem, so yeah. Um, and here we have the locomotive itself and the statue of Radegast, the Slavic god of hospitality. Uh, this is actually... Uh, well, kind of fail because I uh, printed it without uh, actually tuning the settings of the printer and I don't know if it's uh, visible or not, but here I had a quite a big issue with stringing. But after I properly set uh, the, the slicer, I believe that I managed to uh, solve the stringing issue. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is that uh, when you receive the printer, you will have uh, Cura there. I cannot really talk about Cura because uh, I, I immediately uh, deleted it and I have been using my Prusa slicers with a new profile for this printer and it works well uh, every time. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, here as you can see we have the stringing, but other, other than that, I think it uh, went out really nicely. Uh, I didn't reprint it because this was some 18 hours long print and I didn't want to waste uh, so much time again. And uh, here uh, the locomotive itself. Um, uh, yeah, I am really happy how it turned out uh, for some details. Let's take a look at it. At it. Uh, here on the ground you can see also the rails, they are also printed uh, by the LK5 
and they uh, fit together quite nicely so uh, yeah that's 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 nice yeah so yeah I would say the printing parts don't look really bad but on the other hand they look really nice Okay, so uh, what are my final thoughts and, well, my verdict? Um, this printer is certainly uh, not a Prusa, but uh, you have to bear in mind that it is a budget printer. It's very cheap compared to Prusa. So if you uh, go into it, uh, hoping that you will have a, well, cheaper Prusa, then uh, no. But uh, for the price, it's actually very good and I am very positively surprised. Um, I didn't expect that it would be that good. Uh, of course, uh, there's the big uh, uh, printing volume, uh, which is always great. Uh, so yeah, for the price, I really uh, can recommend it. Um, mainly if you are a beginner, it's very easy, easy to use. And I would say that uh, the bronze uh, far outnumber uh, the bronze. So yeah, I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, and uh, as I said um, in uh, the description down, uh, we will have a link uh, to the printer or uh, my uh, special link with a discount. Uh, if you use it, you will have a discount for the printer, uh, 30%. Okay, uh, I hope you liked it and uh, yeah, uh, we will see each other in the next video. Have a nice day and bye bye.